Does Tony Khan have autism? Owner of AEW. Yes, he does. Look at these hugs. Look at this tism. Look at this tism. He's loving on him. He's just... I don't know. It's autism. He's wearing the comfy clothes. Classic autism. Only wearing the comfiest of comfy clothes. He's doing the bows awkwardly. I mean, he doesn't, doesn't have to. And, yeah. His dad bought him this wrestling company. He's a billionaire. And he's living his dream. He's dressing up as his favorite wrestler. Who he just gave, like, a year-long run with the title. Inviting him over for playdates. And his, his dad's super supportive as a billionaire. Like, he's got this cool-ass mustache. And he's like, yeah. Just use my money. Have fun, bro. And drinks water very autistically. I, I know that was a thing. But one more take. Drink. Drink. Oh. Oh. Okay. Big sippy. The big sippy went wrong right there. But yeah. He's uh, seething with these uh, NXT ratings this week. You know, he moved his show over to Tuesday for business reasons, but also just because it's his birthday. He wanted birthday wrestling. And he got it. And NXT was like, yeah, we're just going to have The Undertaker and Cena on to compete. Just to, just to mess with him. Because he, he was hyped. Like, he had his, uh, his football team tweeted out happy birthday. His wrestling company tweeted out happy birthday to him. Even at his show, you go to the end of it, and uh, they're wishing him happy birthday. Which is crazy, but I mean, he, he goes out on every of these shows. Like, he's there every show out there talking to the people. He just just wants to see wrestling all day, every day. Loves it. Autism. And, yeah, he's seething at, at John Cena, he's seething at The Undertaker. He's, he's got the no milli streak. It's been like 30 weeks without a, a million on the dynamite in the ratings. So it's gotten so bad that he's replying to random people who tweet out Shawn Michaels AI art at him. Booker of the year, Shawn Michaels. And he's like, actually, I'm pretty sure that last night blew whatever chance he had of winning that award. Guy just replies to him, NXT. 921k AEW 600k they both went all out for these things and it's just it's sad but yeah this is, this is another one he's uh someone saying that he has autism and he's like even if i was there's nothing whatsoever wrong with that so um soft confirmation right there here's uh here he's in this thread with uh, Randy Orton for some reason. And he's, he's seething. And Randy's just like... Jacksonville Dixie. Referencing um, TNA's uh, Dixie Carter. Well, else would I tag you? If I wanted to talk business, I'd call your father. Little, little kissy face. Seething. And Tony's... Um, I don't know. He's, he's had his incidents. Like this one... It's a bunch of Tony Wink's dogs posts. And he's like, this is very uncalled for and repulsive. I don't deserve it, and I won't stand for it. Another Tony Wink's dogs post. Literally none of that is true. That sign is obscene, and I've never done anything to you to deserve it. Taking it personally, and... Another Tony Wink's dogs, and... He's like, that sign is disgusting. Nothing you say can defend the sign you've made accusing me of bestiality. Just taking literally seething being on the internet. Like he even he references using cage match. Like he looks at his his show's scores on there like they're actual scores. Like no no other professional does that. He's over here looking at match reviews, looking at show reviews. And I guarantee, if you go to Tony Khan's page on Cage Match, you give him a bad review, he will read it. He will read any review on this page. He's looking for feedback. Like, he's been he's been running EFEDs since, like, the 90s. 
Like, he's over at the lunchroom, writing in his notebook, watching Nitro and WCW Thunder and all that. Hanging out on AOL. Like, the name Dynamite, like, even comes from his, like, early, like, EFED stuff. Like, that was the show that he wanted to book as a kid. And... Yeah, a little, little uh, dream come true thing. So, just have to have a dad with a billion dollars. Blue Meanie, like, even talks about talking to him on AOL in the 90s. Apparently, it was it's pretty common. I mean, it was, it was a smaller internet back then. Much smaller group of tape traders and stuff. And it's kind of a, a good post on um, Squared Circled about his, like, early history. Like, he went by, like, Tony Flair... And had like an AOL account. Tony Flair at AOL.com. And he'd watch like Nitro and stuff live. And you know just hanging. Marking out. Like there's even um. Like a link in that Reddit to this um. Death Valley Driver video like forum. Where there he is. Coach Tony K. I, I could. You know what I, I don't know what the K stands for. I'll, I don't know bunch of coach Tony K's hanging around but it's interesting you scroll down this and um you can even find like a post from Bix which I I don't really know much about him I just know he's a mark and then he shit himself and tweeted about it or something something about Bix shitting himself that's that's all I know about this person and yeah, if you want a good example of just the, the eye contact, the movement, the body language, just watch Wrestle Dreams um, post show media scrum. He does the stare, he does all all the stuff. Like I, I know because I, I do a lot of this too. It's it's kind of unsettling. You gotta not make too much eye contact and you got the the stern eyes and it's it's a whole thing. So yeah, I mean he's just Hanging out, being on the internet terminally every day. But, um, I don't know. He's a good dude, though. Like, he's over here, like, retweeting some, um, cancer fundraiser. And if you scroll down his replies, he's replied to at least, like, nine or ten people saying sorry for their loss. Like, that's, that's so sweet. You didn't have to do that. But, um, definitely still has autism. But that is, that's a very sweet gesture. Like, Here's, here's Shawn Michaels and some dude. I I don't know. I just wanted to put that in there. But, I don't know. We know Tony has autism because he shares the same... Like, he's he's 41 years old. And so is Christine Weston Chandler. Both 41 years old. Irrefutable proof right there. And, um... Yeah, that's about it, honestly. And, um... I don't know. My wife told me to say that I have autism too. Like I'm supposed to announce that as like a gotta, gotta hand out the A word pass to people. You guys can say it. I don't know. I got, I got some proof they have autism right here. You know, other than the diagnosis, I got the, the YouTube channel talking about using the 3DS for uh, uploading art current year. Using uh, dedicated MP3 players. Uh, Using the manga OCR and all the other... I don't know. I, I feel like this is enough proof of the autism. But, yeah, Tony, Tony definitely has autism. 